Hi, I'm biohacker health coach uh, Joe Baines, and I've been I'm a student of Tantra Yoga, and I've been a student now for five years. And for most of my life, I thought yoga was this thing that uh, was an exercise women in leotards did at the gym. About five years ago, I, I joined a yoga school where we learned about yoga, and yoga is much much deeper than it. It um, it's I would, the way I would describe it is one of the most advanced, one of the most complete uh, personal development programs on the planet. It's thousands of years old and it is a very complete and uh, personal development program. And what is it trying to personal develop you to? So in yoga, the way it works is animals, they cannot, um, what separates us from animals is that animals don't have control over their own evolution. Animals evolve, nature evolves animals in whichever way it see, deems fit to fit the environment. But humans, humans are the only species because we are self-aware, we are conscious, uh, we can direct, take control of our evolution completely. We can consciously evolve ourselves in whatever direction we want. So we have that power. And yoga is a technology, is a set of tools um, that allow you to evolve yourself. And now where is it? So what does yoga mean also? So yoga means the union of the self through the self with the self. Or the journey of the self to the self through the self. All of the both of those mean the same sort of thing. Uh, the self is, is existence, self is God, uh, self is your higher self, the self is you. All of those is self. And they're all basically fragments of the same thing. Um, and so yoga is a way of evolving yourself to, to become God, to become at one with God. Uh, we have seven chakras in our body, from the right at the base all the way to the top of the head. And each chakra brings you closer to God, brings you closer to the infinite. And our job as yogis uh, is to work, do yoga and meditations and breath work and all these other kind of things, practices, to slowly open these chakras up and allow us to open higher and higher chakras until eventually we have opened the top chakra, which is Shahasahara. Um, and once you open that chakra, now you you realize you are God because you are now you are you realize the connection to God and it's permanent, and so now you become an enlightened being, which means you are you do not see separation anymore. Uh, your ego is what allows you to see separation, your senses. But when you become an enlightened being, like the Buddha, for example, or Krishna Murthy, be another one, um, you experience oneness you experience that you are not separate from god or from existence and that you do not recognize separation you are not separate from it you know like for example i'm sitting on this grass i'm not separate from this grass the the fact that i it looks like i'm separate from this glass is an illusion and when you open up all your chakras you see through that illusion and so you realize you are actually infinite you are consciousness experience itself. Uh, now, you would think once you realize that, um, you would have nothing to do, but no, you actually get very busy. What happens when you become uh, a fully aligned being, a yogi, you become extremely productive. Uh, the universe bends around you to do whatever you want to do. Uh, you, you have a purpose, you know exactly what your purpose is, you know exactly why you are on this earth and what you need to do. Um, and how to go about doing it and what your challenges are going to be and everything, you know, and so you start following that path and so you all the all the uh, Enlightened beings I've ever looked at they were all very very productive. They all get a lot done And they all got a purpose in life and they're all going for it uh, so that is what uh, my understanding my current understanding of what yoga is